Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, September 11th, a day that we'll never forget. 2023, it is your daily crypto news. My name is Matt. A little slow start this morning. You know, it was one of those nights last night where you're driving home, you text your friend, you stop off for just a quick drink with them, and next thing you know, it's 2 a.m., you're singing Mexican love songs with the kitchen staff that just got off of work at the restaurant next door, and you're there until 2 a.m. <laughs> it is a little bit of a slow morning. But those nights are the ones that you're always going to have a story and the nights that you're going to remember. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. Anyway, let's get into that daily crypto news. So we now know that FTX paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars to high profile people for marketing sponsorships and deals. And those people are like Shaquille O'Neal, Naomi Osaka, David Ortez, and a lot of others. If you click the link in the show notes, you can go to the story that this was in and you can download the PDF for this whole um, court document and you can search it to see who you might know that got paid from FTX. Well, like I said, Shaquille O'Neal got paid from FTX and it looks like he got around uh, $750,000, you know, just some just some change, just a little bit of change. About $308,000 went to Naomi Osaka, you know, just, you know, just some, just some change. Almost $206,000 went to Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence. And about $271,000 went to Boston Red Sox player David Ortez. On Friday, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN, issued an alert calling on banks and other firms to submit suspicious activity reports to help authorities crack down on crypto scams. These new crypto scams are called pig butchering. And I bet you're wondering what pig butchering is. Well... It refers to a heavily time-tested, heavily scripted, contact-intensive process to fatten up their prey before the slaughter. Pig butchering scams involve cryptocurrency scammers to target victims on a dating app or social media. Scammers create a fake profile, initiate contact through various channels, including social media, WhatsApp, Tinder, text, posing as friends or potential lovers. They build a trust. They gradually introduce cryptocurrency investment opportunities. The victims are led into a bogus website or app and encouraged to start investing with small amounts. And because of these small amounts, they get, you know, small, modest gains. But, you know, because of those small, modest gains, the scammers say, hey, you know what? You're really making a lot of money here. Maybe you should invest some more. And sometimes they do. And when they do invest more, these scammers ghost them. One victim told DL News that she lost $80,000 in a pig butchering scam. Investors in 2021 lost around $429 million in these romantic scams, according to the FBI. And from 2021 to 2022, scams were up 183% to $2.6 billion. Speaking of scams, it looks like Vitalik Buterin fell victim to a hacker on Twitter. His Twitter was hacked. And then the hacker went on to steal around $691,000 from victims who used the corrupted link that was posted in his feed. This hack was first noticed on Saturday when a post appeared on Vitalik Buterin's Twitter announcing the launch of a commemorative NFT. And this commemorative NFT was from software provider Consensus. So apparently, hey, launching this new NFT, it's with software provider Consensus. We have this thing going on. Click this link, get yourself some NFTs, and well, money's gone. Speaking of NFTs, it looks like NounsDAO is heading toward a treasury split in about a week, and this is after a critical mass of NFT owners conducted a rage quit. Now, I bet you're wondering what the hell does that mean in crypto? Well, well, under NounsDAO's new enacted rage quit rules, if 20% of the Nouns NFT hodlers call for a fork, they can split from the main group and take a share of the treasury. And the treasury is around $50 million or 30,620 ETH tokens as of right now. So now 25% of the Nouns NFT hodlers are saying, you know what, we're out. We don't like what's happening with the market. Basically, here's what's happening. Is they're mad because the price of their NFTs are down in value and they think that they can get more value for their NFTs somewhere else. So they're just going to leave this whole project. Each Noun is worth around 36.5 ETH or $59,600 in book value, giving the current fork, if they did fork, the 25% of them, around $12.4 million or 7,598 ETH to do what they please. And in an interesting article from Decrypt, they are comparing ChatGPT and Claude Pro. And they're wondering, which is the best paid AI chatbot for you? 
Well, if you want the top of the line Claude Pro or ChatGPT 4, it's going to cost you about $20 a month a piece. Apparently, Claude Pro has an advantage in terms of context capabilities. However, Claude tends to hallucinate more than ChatGPT. Apparently, Claude is better at logical problem solving, but ChatGPT excels with advanced data analytics tools and specialized plugins. So I guess the choice is yours depending on your needs, which is kind of weird. Why can't AI just do everything? I mean, it is AI. I don't want to have to shop for one that does the thing that I need it to do. Maybe it'll get there in the future. Now let's get into those crypto prices. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. And the time is 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Fear greeds at 35. Fearful. We are blood red across the board. The only green I see here is in a stable coin, which is weird. Bitcoin is sitting at $25,100, down 2.5% in 24. Ethereum is at $1,560, down 3.5%. Tether is number three. Binance is at 206, down 3%. And USDC, like I said, is the only green one, sitting at a dollar at number five. Rounding off the top 10. Actually, I'm going to go into the top 15. First in the top 10, number six is XRP, then Cardano, Doge, Solana, and Tron. XRP, by the way, is at number six, and it's sitting at 47.1 cents, down 5%. In 24. The number 11 spot is Tuncoin, then Dai, Polkadot, Matic at number 14 at 50.2 cents, down 3.5% in 24, around 8% in 7. I am definitely, definitely losing money on that one. And Litecoin is at $59.35, down 2.3%. The total market cap is in at $1 trillion, even down 2.8%. 24 hour volume is actually up 90% in 24 hours, which is absolutely bizarre. A Bitcoin dominance of 48.5% and an ETH dominance of 18.6. And that was our show today. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, happy hodling, everyone.